Welcome back to Fairlanes in Halifax for the third string of this eighth round match in the World Team Championship between Big 20 of Maine and USA East. As you saw in the previous segment, Big 20 won the second string by one pin in a obviously down to the wire finish. And that was after USA East took the first string. So in this third string, you're looking at Dave Godwin on the left and Quincy Adams on the right. Uh, Dave for USA East and Quincy for Big 20. A couple of lineup changes. Um, let's see. Mike Walker has replaced Scott Sirus for Big 20 and Ed Tringali has moved up to the third spot in the order in for uh, USA East. Nate Neely will be bowling fourth. Quincy Adams starting with a spare. And he fills that spare with seven. Dave Godwin. Dave is well known to uh, Halifax audiences because he made a very impressive debut at Worlds a couple of years ago and threw, I believe it was a 221 game up here at Halifax Fair Lanes. Dave has uh, become one of the top bowlers in the New England area. That's a eight box for Quincy Adams, giving him 25 after two, and an eight also for Dave, giving him 17. So next up will be Brian Mayer for USA East and Mike Walker stepping into the lineup for Big 20. Mike is also the part owner of Big 20 Bowling Center in Scarborough, Maine. Big 20 is frequently a host site for pro tournaments and uh, other notable bowling events. Popular venue. And Mike starts off with an 8 drop. He missed the head pin but got a nice break and he's got the 1-9 with a piece of wood that looks like it's frozen behind the head pin. Let's see if he can, what he can do. And he, he uh, spun it right around and converted the spare. Brian Mayer with a tough four drop off, off a good ball. He uh, punched out the one, two, eight, and nine, and then got two more with the second ball. And there's a nice shot for a ten by Brian. Let's take a take a look at that on replay. Brian plays the wood nicely, and the the ball takes out the three five, and the wood goes over to get the four seven. Terrific shot for a ten there. Mike Walker filling that spare on lane 12. Hits the head pin and gets 6, leaving the 3, 4, 6, 10. Brian Mayer with an 8 drop, leaving the 3, 7. And Mike Walker's second ball goes uh, pretty much the same place the first ball did, so he's uh, still going to be looking at those four pins. See what Brian can do with this 3-7 split. And that's a beautiful shot by Brian Mayer. Cuts that three over into the spare, uh, the uh, seven for the to spare conversion. Terrific shot, and we'll have a replay of that in just a moment. Brian Mayer with a very precise cut shot. It's the right side of the three, and as you can see, just right over into the seven. Great shot. That's going to bring up Ed Tringali for USA East and Tim Matero for Big 20. Ed Tringali was a substitution in the middle of this match, taking over for Chris Sargent, if you're wondering why. You're not seeing Chris Sargent right now in the lineup with USA East. This is a long tournament, and everybody likes to have uh, 
a game or two to rest now and then. So most of the teams come up here with seven or eight bowlers. Some have more. And typically, everybody gets to sit out a few games, a couple games a day usually. At Tringali. Matches the 10 box by Tim Matero. Tim with a nice ball in the 1-3 pocket, leaving the 4-pin, 9-drop. And Ed Tringali with a strike. Here's another look at it. Kind of a mixer off the wall. 1-3 pocket hit, and the 7-pin is the last to go. That's a strike for Ed Tringali in the second frame. See if Tim Matero can convert the spare. He's got it. Tricky little piece of wood there, but uh, he hit the cap, but the four pin went over, so he matches the mark. So now you're going to see Brian Purdy and Nate Neely. Brian with a five drop and a split. Nate Neely also with a split. He's got seven, though, and his is uh, much more makeable. He's got a two, four, ten with some wood in the middle of the lane that about where the five pin was and that might help him make it and it does that's a nice shot by Nate Neely let's go to the slow motion on that Nate splits the two four and the two pin goes right into that wood and the wood goes over and hits the ten terrific shot by Nate Neely to start off with a spare Ryan Purdy with a nice ball in the 1-3 pocket, dropping 9 and leaving the 5 pin. Nate Neely drops 8, leaving the 4-7 with some wood out front that looks kind of tricky. And Brian makes the spare, Brian Purdy. And sure enough, that was a tricky piece of wood for Nate Neely. He, uh was able to get the four pin but the ball was deflected around the seven and he'll have to settle for a ten box that gives him 28 after two and that's going to bring up Sean Morrison and Mark Carrier Mark as you'll recall from the the previous string made a clutch nine box actually on the uh, in the 10th box of the, the previous string, he got two pins with his last ball to uh, to pull out a one pin win for Big 20 in that second string. Mark drops seven. He's got a tricky split, seven, eight, ten with some wood that looks like it'll help, but it's still a tough shot. Meanwhile, Sean Morrison with nine, leaving the five pin with some wood. Looks pretty good. And Mark is not able to convert the spare. He gets the only the 8 pin. Sean does make the spare. And Mark Carrier with a 9 box to begin the third string. Both Mark and Sean have become regulars on the Pro Series tournament circuit in New England. That's uh, the Pro Series is heading into its, has already begun its third year, and it's been a very successful tour so far. There's been a lot of, a lot of interest, a lot more bowlers, and there is a strike by Mark Carrier. I started to say the Pro Series has got a lot of bowlers to come out of the woodwork who hadn't been competing too much lately, and a couple of the events have had over 100 bowlers. And Sean Morrison with nine on the spare. Almost uh, broke down the split to get a strike out of it, but he's got the six pin with a piece of wood. 
And he pushes it back. That's two spares in a row to start this string for Sean Morrison. So that's a good start in this third string. We will be back for more coverage of this third string of Round 8 USA East versus Big 20.